This video is on the review of the first law of thermodynamics, where we will apply the concepts of this chapter to solve examination questions. In this examination question, part A, the first law of thermodynamics can be represented by the equation delta U equals to Q plus W. State what is meant by the symbols in the expression. Delta U is the increase in internal energy since there's a positive sign. Plus Q is the heat energy transferred to the system. And delta W is the work done on the system since it is positive. In part B, a fixed mass of, of an ideal gas, dimension ideal gas. The moment dimension ideal gas, you know that the potential energy is zero. Undergoes a cycle A, B, C, and then back to A. During the changes from A to B, the energy supplied to the gas by heating is 442 joule. We have to use the first law of thermodynamic to show that the internal energy of the gas increases by 265. From A to B, you can see that the volume increases. Therefore, work is done by the gas. And work done by the gas is P times delta V. P is 5.2 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal. There's a pressure at A and B. And then the volume will change from 1.6 times 10 minus 4 to 5 times 10 minus 4 meter cube. So this is a change in volume. So you get 177 joule of work done by the gas. Then we apply Newton um, thermodynamic first law. Delta U equals to Q plus W. Q is 442, as they give you the question. Then minus, you take minus 177 because work is done by the gas. So you get 265 joule of energy or work done. Or you can also say that the internal energy increases by 265 joule. In part two, during the change from B to C, the internal energy of the gas decreases by 313 joule. That means your delta U is minus 313 joule. For this question, we start from here. Your U equals to the EP plus EK. Since the ideal gas was mentioned, the EP is zero, since there's no intermolecular force between the particles. So decrease in U means that the kinetic energy also decreases. And when the kinetic energy decreases, the temperature decreases because the average kinetic energy of a molecule equals to 3 over 2 kT. This is extra. The blue one is extra. We know there no work is done when the gas move from B to C because there's no change in volume. So the decrease in your internal energy must be because heat energy is taken out from the system. Q is minus 313 joule of heat energy is taken out from the system. And this causes the temperature to decrease by, to decrease, not decrease, we don't know how much is it, but we, we know that temperature decreased. So the answer for part two is the green one. The blue one is extra. Then in part three, during the change from C to A, use the data in B part one and B part two to calculate the change in internal energy. You must understand that when the system go one complete cycle from A to B, then C, then back to A, there's no, there's no change in the final temperature. Therefore, there's no change in the internal energy. That means your, the sum of the internal energy from C to A, from A to B, plus the internal energy from B to C, plus the internal energy from C to A must be equal to zero. So we can do that calculation here. The internal energy from A to B, plus the change in internal energy from B to C, plus the change in internal energy from C to A, we represented by delta U is equal to zero. So you can calculate delta U is 48 joule. That means from C to A, the internal energy increases by 48 joule. Then in part four, the temperature of the gas at point A is 227 degrees Celsius. 
calculate the number of molecules in the fixed mass of gas. We have to calculate the number of molecules. We have two ways to do this question. One you can use PV equals NKT, where you can get N directly. So N equals to PV over KT. The pressure at A is given as 5.2 times 10 power 5. The volume is 1.6 times 10 minus 4 meter cube. K is 1.38 times 10 minus 23. And then the temperature must be changed to Kelvin. So we take 227 plus 273 Kelvin. And the answer will be 1.2 times 10 power 22 molecules. Another way to do the question is to calculate your N first using PV equals NRT, which will give you 0 0.02 moles. Once you know the number of moles of the gas, we can find the number of particles. We, we multiply 0 0.02 with Avogadro's constant, which will give you 1.2 times 10 to the power 22. 